Hi, welcome back. Uh, I have such great news. I am so excited. Uh, you know, we talked about before how Tana got her black belt and how proud we are of her. Uh, well, my research team and I just published uh, the world's largest study, uh, functional brain right. imaging study. We are so proud. 20,000 people where we were able to distinguish between emotional trauma, people have post-traumatic stress disorder, and physical trauma, traumatic brain injury, or TBI, nearly 100% so, of the so time. So people don't, I find that people are always a little confused by this. So let's let's give an example, like a, a soldier coming home from war. So there are uh, half a million soldiers who came home from Iraq and Afghanistan, and they were troubled. Right. Sleep problems, mood problems, temper problems, not being able to remember things like before. And they would go to the doctor, and the doctors would often not look at their brain. They would base their diagnoses on the symptoms that they would tell them. And they would them. just get the same treatments. And they would get the same treatments, which were often ineffective. And here at Amon Clinics, we believe you should look at the brain before you actually go about changing it. What a concept. And what we were able to demonstrate, many of them, 20% of them, experienced significant emotional trauma, saw their buddies being killed or an arm blown off. What happens with emotional trauma, what we found out, is your emotional or limbic brain starts to work way too hard. That same person may have been exposed to one, two, three, four, five blast injuries right. and had physical trauma. So when the patient is in front of you, it's like, well, how do you know? Whether what, it's the what, physical. Was it the physical or the emotional? And it's really important to know because they have opposed treatments. Um. So one, we want to calm the brain down. The other, we want to repair it and increase it. So with emotional trauma, we saw too much so, activity. So with physical trauma, we saw too so little. So for those of us who don't, you know, for people who don't really understand, what you're saying is when they get a blast injury and it's damaged, sometimes the circulation, the blood flow is low and you need Usually to boost it. Usually it's low. Got it. And when it's emotional, it works too hard and it's really busy and you've got to calm it down. Right. Okay. And so if you start and you assume this person's been emotionally traumatized, but they have low activity in their brain, lowering it further can actually cause a lot of trouble for that mm. person. Or if uh, the person's brain's working too hard and you think, oh, well, it's a traumatic brain injury, and you raise the activity you can actually make them more anxious, more depressed. And so um, the study we did is actually the second one. We'd done a smaller one that we published on veterans, but now we looked at a very large group of people, a 1,000 people who had post-traumatic stress disorder, 10,000 people who had a traumatic brain injury. We compared them against a group that didn't have either. It was a total of 20,000 people. We're just so excited because it's a biomarker, which means if you get uh, a scan, a spec scan, it actually can give you direction on how to help the person. Right. I often say a picture is worth a thousand words, but the imaging we do here at Amon Clinic, spec, a map. is a map, and a map is worth a thousand images because a map tells you where you are and how to get to where you right. want to go. You are not stuck with the brain you have. You can make it better. We can prove it. And here at Amon Clinics, we always want to be on the edge of helping our patients in the most effective way. If this information is helpful to you, subscribe uh, below. Also, write your comments and questions. That actually helps us uh, to know what kind of information you want to hear in these videos. Thanks for watching. Thank you.